Traders, I have an all red day today. As you can see, I'm down over $12,000 and that brings me to a red week so far. Two losing days, one winner. Uh, that happens. Uh, I have an important lesson to talk about today and uh, so let's uh, just talk about it for the next uh, few minutes and uh, first I want to go through my trades here. Uh, DKNG was a big loser, I actually tried to trade it twice. That's a big um, mover today because it started with a gap down, a big gap down today so it was supposed to be a gap and go. So first trade was rather early, small size. Um, did not expect, uh, I, I was wondering whether it's going to come down immediately right, of the, uh, right at the start. It did not, it moved over the highs, it took me out. Second trade was the right trade really, but it did not do what I expected it to do and then moved over the highs, took me out for the second time. Finally, did work out because it is a valid gap and go. Did I do anything wrong about DKNG? No, I don't think I did. I did. I think I played it right. I think there was nothing wrong about what I did with DKNG. Uh, but the end result, of course, I've got uh, a losing trade or two losing trades in DKNG. I went long BA because the airlines were moving higher and I thought uh, Boeing should do the same. But uh, Boeing decided today, quite surprisingly, not to go with the airlines and is trending lower. So did I do anything wrong? I always have to question myself. I don't think I did. Boeing decided to move lower. I had a losing trade. Sadly, I had a losing trade in Tesla today. I thought it's going to come down, continue with the trend. It did. As you can see, it's moving to a new low now. But the pullback took me out because I do have, I do need to have my stop somewhere. So kind of a bad luck. I don't know. It was trending lower. Maybe I should have given uh, Tesla a bit more space. End result, I have a losing trade in Tesla too. So uh, the thing is, and that's a very, very important rule that I have, and that's re really the topic of our lesson today. When you come to the point where you are getting to your daily stop loss, and there's several types of a daily stop loss. One is financial. What's your maximum allowed loss per day? For me, it's around that number. What is yours? If you don't have one, you need to have one. And I'll give you an example real soon. And... Uh, the second rule, if I have three losing trades, I'm moving out as well. Because you see, when you come to the point where you have a three consecutive losing trades, and I had four. The reason I had four is because my Tesla trade was in the same time as my second DKNA, DKNG trade, which I thought DKNG is going to do well. So in fact, I was supposed to um, move out after three losing trades. I moved out after four losing trades. But let's uh, just talk about the rule here. The three losing trade rule is extremely important. When you come to the point where you have, when you have three losers, even if it's below your maximum daily loss, let's say your maximum daily loss is $400 and you're only losing $300, but you have three losing trades, let's say each one $100, you should be moving out because it is very, very likely that your false trade will become a losing trade as well. The reason for that is because you're not mentally capable in continuing to trade. You are at the point where you have three losing trades, the only thing that comes up to your mind is how do you get back to green territory? That's the only thing that, thing that goes on in your mind. You're trying to get back to green territory. That's the only thing you're looking at. Every trade that we will post here in the trading room, whether it's the best trade or the worst trade, would look to you like the trade is going to save your day. Do you think it doesn't go up in my mind right now? I'm looking at Tesla, I'm looking at Boeing, I'm looking at other trades, and I'm thinking, well, just one good trade, maybe double size, <laughs> it's going to take me back to green territory. But the thing is, after three losing trades, you're not mentally capable of making the right decision. You think you are. You're sure you are. That's the problem. You are sure that you are mentally capable of taking the right decision. And after three losing trades, and I don't care how much money you're losing after three trading, losing trades, you think the next one will save you. You're pretty sure that you're seeing the best trade in front of your eyes. You just heard about the best opportunity. Everyone's going to post something in the room. You're going to take it because you're going to think it's the best opportunity that's going to save your day. Believe me, I've been there. I've done that. Now, I'm saying this first because I've got a good example here. I'm just stopping out. You see three losing symbols. I'm out for the day. I'm not trying to get back to green territory. I'm... That's it for me. I'm not going to continue trading. 
one of the worst possible things is to have a very big red day. And I'm going to give you an example, which I'm of course I'm not, of course, I'm not going to disclose any name here uh, or a person. Um, I had a, an email from uh, one of you guys. Uh, it was uh, like, uh, I think, day before yesterday. I got an email uh, from one of you traders. And he sent me, he sent me his uh, uh, breakdown of his trades for the last, I don't know, several months, maybe uh, a year, something like that. I'm not sure about the time. Um, I think it was a trade view chart there that showed how many green days he had, how many red days he had. And uh, he, 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 in fact, he, he's losing money. He's losing a lot of money. Um, I think he blew up, he was blowing up his second account by now, something like that. And he asked me to take a look at his uh, trade view chart. The interesting part when I looked at his chart was, I mean, it was as clear as there is a sun outside right now. The, the thing is very clear. I could see this guy is making more green days, days, several more green days than red days. He's having maybe 75% green days. And then he's having 25% red day, something like that. I'm not sure about the number, but it's definitely being more green than red. It was very, very clear. However, his green days are relatively small, which is okay. You don't, you're not supposed to get rich from trading at the beginning of your trading career. You're going through a trading career. You want to get, uh, you want to do money. Fine. But the basic start is to be green. You shouldn't care about how much green you just need to end the day in green as long as you're learning as long as you're in the pro progress uh, learning how to become a trader but the red days of this person who's probably listening to me right now the red days of this person were huge 10 times bigger than the red than the green days and why is that he just when, when, he, when he gets to the point where he's having, for example, three losing trades in a row, I bet he's taking the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. And you could also see the volume on the same days when he took these red trades, I mean, these big red days, you can see the volume as well. His volume on these days were, I don't know, 10 times more than his average volume. So when he has a nice green day, he knows when to stop, which is great. But when he has a red day, he just doesn't know when to stop. One of the most important rules is, of course, to have two stop loss limits. One is how much money you're losing per day. And the second one, just like I did today, three losing trades in a row, you're out. Doesn't, mat doesn't matter how much money you're losing. You're just out because in both circumstances, like if you're losing too much or if you're having too many red trades, you think you trust yourself. You think you're capable. You think you're going to take the next winning trade. In fact, everything you're looking at is probably wrong. Are you aware of that? No. And that's what's troubling me. You're not aware of this. I wasn't aware when I was trading several years ago, when I was trading and I was thinking I could get back to green. I was definitely sure that I finally learned how to get back to green. Yes, I have three bad, tr three bad trades. Probably just bad luck, whatever it is. But I'm not mentally capable to get into green. This could turn to be one of my worst days ever. And you know what? I'm just talking to you guys now. And I'm sure that several of you who are losing, constantly losing, the reason they are losing is because very few red days took them under. If I'm right, please write this. <laughs> Let's see <laughs> if you agree with me. If you're into this, if, if, if you're in, the, in this position right now, if you're the one of these persons that uh, are generally green, having more than green days and red days, but once you get to the point where you are losing money, your red days take you under and maybe you blow your account or whatever. Well, I, I can see. Thank you for participating and, <laughs> and allowing us uh, and joining into this. I mean, it's not easy to admit that, right? But, you know, guys, that's a, a normal behavior. That's a human behavior. That's how we are. But we need to understand the problem. If we understand the problem, if we understand that 
that once we are at this mental point where we cannot handle the loss or we cannot handle the number of losing trades that we have, we just need to go out. That would be uh, a major breakthrough in your trading career. Seriously, just eliminate the big red days. Most of you will be fine. Just eliminate the big red days. Just think about it and uh, try to behave this way. Try to understand and just, you know, get away on this day, on, on one of these red days. Just stop trading. And you know what? One of the best advice I would give you is don't just stop trading. Close your trading platform. <laughs> And not only that, close down your computer. The risk in having a big red day is that you'll go to the next room, have dinner or something, and you know what? And then your mind will keep working and uh, you, you're just going to go back for five minutes to take a look at what happened uh, during the last uh, one hour where you were not trading. Yeah, I have a big red day, but I need to see what the market's doing now. I need to take a look. Maybe I'll just, you know, you just go back and you just take one more small trade. <laughs> now, how many of you had that? I mean, a big losing day, you stopped, but you came back after an hour. Did it happen to you? If you did, right, yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I know about all about this. I've been there. I've done that. Shut down your computer. Shut down your computer. Make it harder for you to come back and watch, watch and watch what uh, going on in the market. Just stop trading for the day. That's it. Wake up the next day, come back refreshed, understand that you had a big red day, lower your quantity, which is another important role. I mean, depending on your laws, depending on how new to are, you are to trading. But if you're new to trading, Definitely lower your quantity. I usually will lower my quantity after two losing days in a row. That would be the time where I lower my quantity. If you're novice to trading, if you're just trading, starting your first year, lower your quantity after one losing trading day and then come back uh, again. I hope that was helpful, traders. Uh, believe me, um, I paid a lot of money to uh, to understand what I just told you. It took me quite a lot of time to to realize that I'm not capable of trading or taking the next trade or something like that. I, it, sometimes it takes years until you understand these kind of things. It took me years. Hopefully it will take you less. Have a great uh, trading session uh, and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200-page part 1 of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.